Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another video of Power BI for Sports. What we have today is our standard deviation in our Power BI dashboard. So I've received a couple of questions in the past few weeks about how to make different calculations in Power BI. So how to get your standard deviation, how to get your average, your maximum and minimum ranges, etc. And I did a few, a few bit of research on the past few days and I finally managed to get it right this time. So what we have here is a normal graph of our total distance of our players, and we can display our, our average in there as well as our standard deviation range. So this is gonna allow you to look for potential outliers to see who is over the standard deviation, who is under. And not only that, but the calculation of the standard deviation is going to change according to the field that we have selected. So if we have our dates slicer here, and we selected different dates with different players, that calculation is going to change. So you'll be, you're gonna be able to just select whatever date that you want to select, whatever training session it is, and you're going to have the standard deviation calculated accordingly. And you can have that either as a graph, as a column and line graph, as you can see here, or if you prefer, just have it as a table and just look at the actual values, you can do exactly the same, it's really easy. So make sure you stay tuned to see how to calculate the standard deviation in Power BI. So for today's example, I'm going to use my session reports. I'm just going to use one graph for this one. So what we have here is just my uh, players on my x-axis. So there's the player names. And on my y-axis, I have my total distance. So this is just the total distance that my players covered uh, during the training session of the 23rd of April. And I even have a slicer here that's going to enable me to select what session I want to view on my dashboard. So whether it's 23rd, 22nd, uh, etc. So what I want to introduce today is just a standard deviation measure that I can visualize it both in a graph or even in a table and I also want to calculate the maximum and minimum range of the standard deviation so I, so I can look for any potential outliers here. So if I have a significant difference with, in between these players I can, um, I can spot it using my standard deviation. So for this, we're going to first go to our data tab here on the left menu. And we're going to select home. And we're going to go to new measure. So in the editor here on the, on the bar on the top, this is where we're going to calculate our standard deviation. So first you need to type in standard deviation is the, just the, this is the title of our, of our new measure, and then we're going to type in the following formula. So we'll type in calculate, and we're going to type in stdef, and we're going to select the stdef x.p. So ignore all the other ones, we are going to make sure that you select stdef x.p, and this is going to be very important if you have uh, different fields or you have different uh, relationships between your fields, which you probably do. So make sure you select stdef x.p and first it's going to ask us to input the name of the table where we're going to extract our information. So in my case, my table's name is this one, it's data dump. So just uh, search for data dump uh, in your expression here, data dump. Then we're going to type in a comma and now we're going to type in our expression which is going to be in our case, it's going to be the metric that we're going to calculate. So as you remember from before, uh, the graph that I had was the total distance of the players in my session. So in here, I'm going to type in total distance. And what you'll find here is you're going to find first the name of the table where the metric is located. And then in between brackets, you will find that metric that we're looking for. So in here, you'll see data dump, the name of this table, and total distance in brackets. So select that. I'm going to close that first bracket and then you're going to type in a comma. And this is very important. You make sure you type in the comma at the end and put the all selected function. So this is going to allow our, uh, our formula to, to ignore any filters that have been applied inside the query but keep the filters that come from outside. So remember that we want, since we have a dynamic dashboard and we want it to be able to calculate the standard deviation based on the date that we selected and on the players that we selected, it's important that we select the all selected function just so that it, it keeps those filters that come from outside the query. And then you just double close that bracket and hit enter. 
So that's going to be your standard deviation uh, properly calculated here. So now even if I go back and say I change this to a table, I can even search for the calculation I just made, so it's standard deviation, and I can put that into my table, and you can see the value coming in right here uh, in the table. So my standard deviation for this calculation would be 380. But we're going to be looking at also as well, we're going to look at how to visualize this in a graph. So we're not, if you're interested in just having it as a table, that's still all you need to do. But if you want to put it in a graph, just keep watching for, for this. So we're going to come back to our uh, data tab in the menu, and we're going to collect, uh, create a, a new measure for this. First, we want to create an average measure. So this is just going to be the average of the, of the value that I have selected. So similar to our uh, last formula, first you type in calculate, and then we're going to select the average function, and we're going to select the column name, so again, total distance. And then you just close the first bracket, comma, all selected. Then double close that. Hit enter, and that's your average uh, measure calculated. And there's two more measures that we need to calculate now real quick. So go back to new measure. And the next one we're going to calculate is going to be our uh, Y max formula. So this is for the upper range of our standard deviation. So the Y max is simply typing calculate again. And we're going to select our average. In this case, we're selecting the average calculation, not the average function. So you'll differentiate it by the fact that this has the calculator icon, and it's also between brackets. So we're going to take our average calculation, and we're going to add the standard deviation. And just put a comma, all selected. double close that and hit enter. And we're going to do the same thing for the lower range of our standard deviation. So again, just come one last time to new measure. Change this for Y min and type in the same formula, calculate. Calculate the average calculation minus the standard deviation, comma, all selected. Perfect. So that is uh, finally calculated our standard deviation, our average and the maximum and minimum range of the standard deviation. So now we can uh, input those calculations into our graph of our dashboard. So if we just select our average calculation, and well before that make sure that your graph is set as a column, column and line chart. So we're gonna take the average calculation and drag it across to the line values. So now you can see that the, there's a line right here that's indicating me the average of this calculation. And we're also going to input the Y min and Y max. So this is the top and lower range of our standard deviation. Perfect. So you can even, let's just clean this up a bit so it's a bit more clear for everyone. So if you just come to your uh, let's take off the data labels only for these. So if you come to data labels, scroll down, select customize series, turn on, and go for your Y max. Turn that off. Same thing for your Y min and the average. Okay, and we're also going to change a little bit the the type of line that we're going to use. So if you come, just scroll down a bit more. 
and find your uh, shapes. Scroll down to customize series, turn that on. And for my Y max, I'm going to just reduce the stroke width a little bit. Change the lines tile to dashed. And the same thing with my Y min. This is completely up to you on, on how you want to present your data. This is for me the, the clearest and nicest way that it's going to look. Same thing finally for our average and I'm actually going to go for uh, dotted for this one. So up to you on how you want to display these, but this is how you can actually see in your graph, you can see the top and lower range of the standard deviation and you can see the average right in between. So this way you can even even if you change the, the date that you have selected because of the formula that we've typed, you can see how the, the averages and the y max and y max and the standard deviation is all changing and it's being calculated according to the session that I have selected. So now you can even go ahead and make, um, make any calculations, make any uh, analysis on your data and kind of look for any outliers and look for anyone that's gone over or under the standard deviation. So in here I can even see a couple, I can see this player has gone over uh, the, the maximum range of standard deviation. I can see another player that's gone under. You can just go ahead and make whatever analysis that you need to do, whether it's in sports or whether you're watching this from, from a different background. Uh, you can have all of this right here. And you can even turn this into a table if that's what you prefer. You can just input all of those values into a table and you can have the player name with your distances and you can have your standard deviation with a y mix and y min uh, values and as well as your average. So up to you how you want to visualize it. In this video you've already seen you can visualize it either in a, in a graph or as a table and now you can you're free to go ahead and make any analysis that you need to make. And you can even if you have another type of dashboard with any other analysis so say this is just my drill report which I've mentioned in my previous videos uh, if you have a drill report of, say, your drill title and you have your, all your drills, so your attack and defense, pass and small set of games, so these are the drills in one session, you can also drag the same, uh, the same measures into this, into this graph. So as long as it's total distance, you can drag it across any graph that involves a total distance column of your field, and you can even do the same type of analysis, whether it's by the drills in one session or uh, comparing drills within different sessions, or if you want to compare the total distance across uh, the, the total sessions across a month, you know, you can do that for any type of calculation you need. And the only thing is that if you have a, a dashboard like this one where you have different uh, metrics calculated, you would have to do the same process for each one of the metrics that you have. So if you have high speed running, you would have to make another uh, standard deviation calculation with the same formula except you search for the high speed running metric instead of total distance. But it's all the same, if you just put a little bit of time, I'm sure you can just make uh, your report nice and working and you get all your calculations done within just a few minutes. So I hope you liked this video, make sure you comment if you have any questions or you have any ideas for another video, and like and share if you like the video as well. Thanks.